Okay, now you want to make sure that you get in between their toes. You want to make sure that you get in all the areas where the flea is high, like right in through here. It's okay, Zozo. I know you're cold. But if you can get closer with that right there, you can see where all the fleas are dead and gone. Most of the time when they die, they try to cling on or they stay on the fur or something like that. But once you walk them and start drying them off, then um, then you, you usually see them in abundance. But you want to make sure you get down through there. You let the solution stay on for five minutes. After you get her very saturated, you let it sit on for five minutes. And you only have to do actually a partial uh, a partial rinse because you want to leave just a little bit of it on just so that it soaks into her skin and it will act as a repellent for, for a period of time but you have to go to the um, to the source of where the fleas are coming from to get rid of them or else they're going to keep on occurring but you're able to still use the, the shampoo you can use it you don't want to use it uh, every day but uh, every three days or something like that wouldn't be too bad because it has a conditioner in it and it has a little bit of oil base in it also it helps um, uh, saturate their skin and condition it to where it doesn't take all the oils out. And our solution, I mean, you can put it around their mouth. You don't want them to drink or anything like that. But it's safe for their eyes. It's safe to be around their mouth. You know, it, it won't uh, be very, it won't be harmful to them to kill them or anything like that. Okay. Good. Shut it off.